Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Elmira police are investigating a possible financial scheme to defraud. All banking institutions are being requested to email Captain Anthony Alvernaz from an institutional email address with an attached copy of an employment credential as soon as possible for further details. Due to the sensitivity of this situation, the police department is unable to provide details to the general public at this time. In order to reassure financial institutions of the legitimacy, the Elmira PD has set up a phone line for representatives of financial institutions to call to speak with the Elmira Police Department. No further information will be provided over the phone other than the confirmation of the previous email request that was issued by the Elmira PD. Hunger doesn't take a break over the holidays. Local elected officials and community leaders came together yesterday at the food bank of the Southern Tier to fill packs full of food for kids at risk of food insecurity so that they can take it home over the holidays. In the Southern Tier, there are about 4,200 children who qualify for free and reduced lunches at school, so the food bank's concern is how those kids will get their meals when school isn't in session. All the packs are filled with non-perishable food items. It's really exciting for us to have the opportunity to bring our elected officials to our facility. A lot of people have heard of the work of the food bank, but they might not be familiar exactly with what we do. And so anytime we have an opportunity to bring them here to our warehouse, talk to them a little bit about our work, maybe take them for a tour and give them an opportunity to have hands on experience, um, you know, packing food. I think it's, it's beneficial, right? Um, it definitely like pulls the curtain back a little bit and, and gives them more of an awareness of everything that goes on in our community to help feed hungry people. But this is my first time doing this kind of a repack and it's fantastic to see all of these different lawmakers and, and people who work in government all working together because you know outside of here there's times when we certainly disagree on the issues but today there's nothing but smiles and camaraderie and I think there's a recognition that even though we might go about things in a different way at the end of the day everybody that's here wants a better community. The Food Bank's latest campaign is Cheers for Change. That's happening now at participating liquor stores where you have the option to round up your purchase with that change going toward the meals for families in the southern tier. Heavy rain could make your holiday travel a little tricky. Meteorologist Sawyer Wells is up next with our Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back. All right, well, the rain is on its way. The past hour is really starting to move into the southwestern corner of our area. And it's going to continue to get into our area. And we're going to be talking about maybe some flash flooding across the region. There are flood watches all the way up the east coast right now as this system is massive. And it is, again, heading our way. Luckily, we're not expecting a lot of winter precipitation with this, really none at all. Forecast lows for tonight, we're going to be in the 30s and 40s across the area. Elmira, we're looking at 41. Overall, not too bad. Uh, we're going to be a little bit above normal. Those clouds really help keep that heat in. And then for tomorrow, the low going to be off to our southwest. So we're looking at potential uh, for flash and urban flooding, coastal flooding. And some trees can be uprooted due to the uh, amount of um, rain that's hitting the ground, as well as the winds. Could have a few localized power outages and some travel disruptions. Mainly, though, that's going to stay on off to our east, thankfully but we will have the chance for some flooding across our area. So for tomorrow, look at this, 61 degrees, occasional rain and drizzle, and those winds at the southeast right around seven miles per hour. And it's just gonna be a rainy day across the entire area. Your future radar, we'll put that in motion here. You can see by tonight, rain overspreads the entire region, and that is unfortunately going to continue on into tomorrow. Throughout the day, we'll get a few breaks. And then by the afternoon hours, we'll get another round in here. And uh, yeah, you're seeing that behind it again, near Jamestown, we could see some snow. Uh, we're looking at maybe, maybe the latest data coming in shows maybe an inch around our area. But the ground temperatures are, ground temperatures are just so warm right now, 
it's going to be hard to kind of keep that uh, on the ground. All right, so for Friday, we're talking occasional rain and drizzle for your 61 degrees. Then on Saturday, could have a snow shower in the morning. We get those wraparound precipitation bands as well as some of the colder air mixing in behind it. Could see something, but again, we're going to be above freezing for the day, so we don't expect this to stick to the ground. Overnight low Saturday night, though, we're going to start dipping below freezing again. Sunday, times of clouds and sun, upper 30s again. We'll stay in the upper 30s for your Christmas Eve, although Christmas Eve, unfortunately, it's not looking too great. I know a lot of people go to grandparents' house or to a friend's house to celebrate Christmas Eve. Not looking great. As we get on to your Christmas Day, though, that looks fairly nice. We'll get a few breaks in the clouds, get some sun here. Mostly cloudy overall, though, still. We'll be in the mid to upper 30s. Those lows are just going to be, going to be cold. And then Wednesday and Thursday of next week overall are looking nicer as well. Thursday is looking pretty nice. Those temperatures aren't great, but with the sunshine coming out, it's going to make it feel a little bit warmer. And traveling back home from Grandma's house shouldn't be an issue. So can't really complain too much about that. All right. Thanks, Soy. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.